In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove, service, and properly adjust your shifter and linkages. So the first step is I'm going to mark where this split is on the shifter shaft right there. Next, I'm going to remove this 10 millimeter bolt right here. This should slide right off the splined shaft. A lot of times these are corroded and they're really hard to get off. Next, we'll remove this circlip right here using the circlip pliers. So there's two holes in the circlip. You pry it apart. There you go. And then this will come right off the shaft. You can see how dirty that is. There's a washer out here. So we're gonna set everything down in order. Now we have everything in order. We're gonna clean everything and then reassemble. I'm gonna clean this area. I'm gonna clean this inside, the washer, clip, everything. Okay, we got everything clean. I got the shaft here cleaned out. I got the linkage all cleaned out. I'm gonna use a brush to get into here. Clean that out real good. Next, these uh, ball joints right here, I took the dust covers off because I wanted to show you, you can't disassemble these. So they get dry and they get worn out. Uh, replace them if necessary, but we're gonna re-grease these so that there's nice smooth action on your shifter. So the best way I found is to uh, just get some grease and try to jam it in there as best as you can. Jam it in there, and then I just work it around, kind of get the grease going as best as I can. So we'll do both of them. Jam a little grease in here. That's why I like using the brush, because it kind of gets in a real tight spots. After I'm done greasing as best as I can, I'll go ahead and wipe off all the excess grease and um, slide these dust covers back over. I wiped off all the excess grease. Go ahead and slide these boots back over. Try not to tear them. There we go. So now that we got that all cleaned and greased up, ready to reinstall. Next, we'll grease the shaft. Next, I'm gonna put a little bit of lube on this spline shaft right here make it a lot easier to slide on, on and off. But I try not to put too much, just a little. Now we reinstall the assembly. Trying to get it lined back up where it was. You can see I got the marker lined back up with the slot. Next I'll reinstall the washer and the circlip. If that circlip doesn't snap on nice and tight, go ahead and replace it. So this next bit is really important. Your shifting mechanism geometry has to be 90 degrees. This has to be 90 degrees, that has to be 90 degrees. Let's say I take this off and I put it way up here. If I go to shift up, I'm not gonna have as much leverage as I would if it was at 90 degrees. The closer to 90 degrees everything is, the more powerful your shifts will be and the better engagement you'll have into the next gear. So to check your 90 degree, I grabbed a business card. This edge is straight along the shift shaft and you can see that right in the middle of the shaft here, right in the middle of this ball joint here. So we're at a 90 degree angle. So next we'll check this angle and that looks pretty good. Once I make sure I have everything at 90 degree angles, I'm going to go ahead and reinstall this bolt, tighten it. On this spline shaft, this groove right here is designed to hold this linkage on. This bolt actually slides through the hole in that groove. And I'll show you why. It prevents it from coming out. So with that bolt in there, this will not come out, so it's kind of a safety feature. 
So we'll go ahead and tighten this bolt. And what that does, that bolt pinches this mechanism onto the shaft, holds it nice and tight. Next step, I'm gonna show you how to adjust this length right here, which will enable you to move the shifter up and down per your preference. So on a shift shaft, this thread is a right-hand thread, normal righty tighty lefty loosey. This thread down here is backwards. The reason for that is when you get these two lock nuts loose, you can turn this shaft, twist the shaft, and these two points will separate or come together, moving the shifter arm up and down. So I'll demonstrate that right now. I'm gonna hold the shaft with a 10 millimeter wrench, break loose that lock nut, hold the shaft, break this lock nut loose, and it's reverse thread. So we're gonna back these out, a couple turns, each one of them. Now we're gonna see how turning this shaft adjusts the height of your shifter. So sometimes there's corrosion between this aluminum shift shaft and the steel threads. So sometimes you're going to need to get a wrench on there, break it loose. But you can see as I turn it this way, the shifter raises up. Go back down, shifter lowers. So we're going to adjust it to your preference. I would sit on the bike, put your foot underneath the lever, over the lever, see where you like it. I typically like to have my shifter on the low side because I don't want to have to lift my foot off the peg to hit the shifter. So now that I got the shifter where I like it, I'm going to go ahead and retighten these two lock nuts. And as you can see, they both tighten the same way, even though one is upside down from the other. So now that that's nice and tight, we got 90 degrees here. We got the shifter where we like it. We got the shirt clip installed. We got this pinch bolt tightened down. Everything is nice and solid. Not gonna fall off. And it's adjusted where we like it. I hope this helped you. I would encourage you to go adjust and clean and lube your shifter. At the very least, I hope you learned how to adjust your shifter so that ergonomically the bike is adjusted to you in the way you like it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I'll make sure and get back to you.